So it took me around seven hours to build this ultimate AI virtual assistant. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how it books real estate leads for you better than an actual VA would. And in case you're wondering, I've sold agents like this one for over $3,500. And soon you'll see exactly why, plus how it works in the real world and what I did to actually design and build this entire thing. Now, way too many real estate pros and businesses let their leads go cold because they don't have time to call everyone back, manage their calendar, and keep up with long-term nurturing. But this virtual AI assistant, which is also a voice agent, handles all three with next to zero effort from you. And here's how it works. I could tell it whatever I wanna do in plain English, and it calls leads from my contact base to pre-qualify them and book meetings right on the spot. It also manages my entire calendar, reports openings, and can even negotiate meeting times. And here's another thing that it does that usually takes way too long. When someone's not ready to do business right now, I could tell it to add them to a personalized drip sequence that keeps them warm for months. And if you're new here, I'm Mike. I've been in the AI industry for two years, and now I build AI systems that handle the repetitive stuff so that you can focus on what actually makes you money. So if you want to see how this $3,500 AI assistant works, and whether it's worth getting your own, then stick around. I'm going to break down all three functions here and show you exactly how you can use it for yourself to start closing more clients. So let's dive right in. All right, so obviously saying that I have the ultimate VA here is a pretty big claim. So hopefully this demo that I'm about to take you guys through really backs that up. And on the screen right now, you actually see the main bones of this agent itself here. In addition to what you see here, we also have this AI caller in the separate tab here. And this essentially takes care of the entire AI calling process. And if I go into this third tab, this entire system right here actually handles our long-term nurture process. So before I overwhelm you with how much stuff is going on here, let's actually take a look at a quick demo of this so that we can bring all this back down to earth and show you guys what all of this really looks like in action. All right, so we're going to jump straight into this demo now so that you can actually see me interacting with this ultimate AI virtual assistant. So I'm going to pretend like I'm a real estate broker who needs to accomplish a few tasks, but I also happen to be really busy today and I don't have time to do this right now. So for task number one, I'm actually going to message my agent and tell her that I just met with a new lead who's already in my contact base, by the way, so we already have his phone number. His name is James Manson and he's interested in our listing on 123 Pacific Drive. I want to see if the agent can actually give him a call to pre-qualify him to gather some info from him that I wasn't able to get before and actually book us in sometime this week if he's all set and everything looks good. So with that said, let's actually hit send and see if the agent can actually handle this for us. All right, so my agent just got back to us and said, great, I'll give James Manson a call to pre-qualify him. And if he's ready, we'll book a viewing for 123 Pacific Drive sometime this week. So now I'm gonna pretend like I'm James and I'm actually gonna pick up my phone and talk to this agent when it calls me. Hello? Hi there, James. This is Aria, Mike's assistant. I hope you're doing well today. Is now a bad time to talk? Um, hi there, Aria. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I hope you are as well. Um, no, it's actually a pretty good time to talk. Great. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So, Mike wanted me to call you to ask a couple of questions before we meet. Would that be okay? It'll only take a minute. Um, yeah, sure thing. Go for it. So if you're actually serious about adopting AI for your business and you happen to own a company or you're a real estate pro, I'm officially launching a brand new community to teach you exactly how to adopt AI that's complete with exclusive courses, a set of pre-built AI agents that you can start using this week, and an epic AI lead gen machine that I designed while working with actual real estate pros. You'll have access to a growing community of like-minded people and I'll continue to add a bunch of awesome stuff to this community. So if you join now, you'll get free lifetime access to the community before I actually upgrade it to a paid resource. Go ahead and join the community with the first link in my description. Or number two, if you're actually interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me to see what AI can actually do for your business, then use link number two to actually book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Anyways, let's get straight back into the video. Perfect. So I saw you were interested in 123 Pacific Drive. Did anything in particular stand out to you about this property? Um, yeah, actually it did. Um, I really liked it because of how big it was and the proximity to downtown. Um, I also took my family by it and um, when we drove by it, everybody absolutely loved it. So yeah, um, I think we're really um, sold on the property at this moment and you know, we would love to kind of learn more about it. I see. It's great that you and your family love the place already and the proximity to downtown is definitely a bonus for a home like this. Have you thought about a timeline for when you'd like to buy or are you still considering um, yeah, you know, actually, we were thinking about moving within probably by the end of the summer, actually. So maybe a few months is what our timeline would be. Excellent. Three months is a strong goal to set, but it's definitely achievable for our team here. So are you open to having a meeting with Mike sometime this week so you guys can talk one on one? Um, yeah, actually, it would be open to that. It would be pretty nice to actually go out and meet with him. Could we do this Friday around 3 p.m. if you guys have that open? Else you'd like 
like to ask me before we jump off here? Um, you know, I think that'll be it, Arya. I appreciate you for calling me and setting me up with Mike. So, um, yeah, thanks. I hope you have a nice day. You're very welcome, James. Have a wonderful day. All right, so now if we head into my Google Calendar and take a look at this Friday, we could zoom in here and you actually see that we did in fact get a booking for 3 to 4 p.m. between Mike and James. Now this is pretty impressive enough as it is. Now let's take it a step further and actually see if the agent can help me manage my schedule now. Let's say that there's an important broker conference going on next Saturday and I actually want to check my calendar and see if I have anything going on or if I happen to be available on Saturday morning for that conference. And when I get this message sent off, the agent should be able to check out my calendar, tell me if I'm available, and also list any events that I actually have scheduled on that calendar day. Taking a look at our response here, the agent just confirmed that it checked my calendar. It was able to say for next Saturday, September 6th, you have an open house at 456 Ocean Avenue from 10 to 1. And it also notified me that attending that conference would probably conflict with that open house. And already as it is, this is extremely helpful. Let's actually do one more thing to really send this home and show you just how much time this can really save for us, not just now, but also in the long term. Now, the thing about real estate is, and this tends to apply to other businesses as well, is that you get a lot of leads, but not all of them are interested right at this moment. Being able to nurture people and actually keep up with them in order to understand when they're actually ready and, and be there to offer them service when they are is something that can either make you a lot of money if you stay on top of it or potentially lose you a lot of money if, if you're letting these opportunities slip through the cracks. So I'm just going to be telling this agent that I just had a lead named Sarah Jones who mentioned to me that she isn't interested in buying at the moment due to how high the interest rates are, but she will be interested in buying once they actually drop. So I want to see if this agent can actually add her to a long-term drip sequence to actually nurture her over the course of the next six months just just to keep her in the loop and just to make sure that my agency stays at the top of mind for her. So let's get this message sent off and see how the agent actually connects her to that. As you can see, the agent looks like it was successfully able to add Sarah Jones to our long-term nurture sequence. And in case you're wondering what that looks like, it's based off of this cold email sequence right here that actually researches people on LinkedIn to help write personalized messages. And it creates a personalized drip campaign that this person will receive over the course of time to just keep them warm. And by the way, if you want to see an in-depth video about how this system actually works itself, then I'll actually link that up here if you guys are interested. So we just covered quite a few different tasks there within that AI virtual assistant and I hope you guys are able to enjoy that and you could see how this AI agent could help you whether you're in real estate or if you just happen to be in need of a virtual assistant then you've either been paying too much for one or you can't afford to hire one. So in the opening of this video you probably remember me mentioning that this AI agent is worth around $3,500 and the reason why I say that is just because I've personally sold agents around $3,500 that have been very similar to this and I've, I've even seen people within my network actually sell them for quite a bit more. So there tends to be a pretty significant range on what you could get for something like this and what this really could be worth to you depending on how advanced it is. Now in this video, I'm not just going to be showing you what my AI virtual assistant actually does and how I incorporated a voice agent into this, but I'm also going to be talking about if people actually use something like this, what it could actually be worth and whether or not it is or isn't a wise choice for you to actually use something like this for yourself. So we've already gone through our demo, which is part one of this video. Now we can actually move on to part two to actually explore why any of this matters and what this system is actually worth to people in the real world. Now just to cover some context here, after some research I've done, I was able to determine that even a part-time VA cost could end up being around $20,000 per year if you're basing that off of a $20 an hour salary. If you hire that person full-time, you could easily double this number or if you're hiring somebody more specialized, then obviously this number would, would be quite a bit higher anyways. But even if we're just talking about a $20,000 assistant, if you're able to drop that down to a $3,500 AI assistant that works for you 24 seven, it can accomplish 80% or more of the tasks that an actual VA could. And hopefully you're starting to see why agents like this are worth this much to a lot of people out there who run businesses. With that said, let's actually take a look at where this ROI comes from and what we're actually looking at here in the long term. So what you saw in the demo is I was able to accomplish things like custom calls, handling scheduling, calendar tasks and even doing follow-ups over the long term by just connecting this agent to any number of other advanced workflows that I can build. Now you can literally program this agent to do whatever you want it to do. And once you've actually nailed down what sort of tasks you want to consider, whether it be a voice task, an automated task, all of these solutions are very, very scalable. And instead of having to worry about things like overtime, benefits, or employee training, which can all be a massive pain if, if you've dealt with them before, it's far easier to train an AI assistant and it's far easier to just add extra capabilities on top of the system you already have, as opposed to having to start from scratch by hiring somebody new and having to worry about somebody expecting a raise in return for the extra responsibility. So in the end, this could potentially be worth 10 times the cost that it saves you over the course of time. And in terms of all of the potential opportunities you could get off the back end of this when it comes to booking leads for you in the business based return will also quickly compound on something like this if you're actually using it wisely. Now businesses are actually using systems like this today. I speak to plenty of them myself between both solo agents, brokers, and, and even full businesses. So I can confirm that people are actually 
actually using stuff like this for lead generation, for actually managing their calendars and their bookings, and also nurturing their leads long term, which sort of inspired the three functions that I showed you within the demo earlier in the video. We all want more calls and more bookings. We want to make sure we have a good handle over our calendar so that we don't have double bookings missed meetings or any coordination issues between us and our clients. And we also want to be able to nurture the people who aren't necessarily ready now, but they could be somewhere down the line. And unless we're actually able to stay in touch with them, we could just fully miss that opportunity. Now, the question on everybody's mind at this point is probably whether or not this is a smart hire. And I've actually got this little checklist that you can actually follow through with me to determine if an AI assistant like this could be something that you would want to use. In my opinion, you should have an AI assistant like this if you have a consistent lead flow. And this 50 leads per month is just a baseline. So if between your existing CRMs, your network, and your word of mouth, if you're dealing with 50 or more potential leads or opportunities per month and you're having a hard time juggling them, that's sign number one. Number two is if you're spending over 10 hours a week on, on handling follow-up calls and in-between tasks that a VA could potentially be doing for you. Number three is if you've actually missed deals that you have recorded due to a slow response time. If somebody sends you a message or calls you on off hours and you're not around to respond to them, or if they ask you a question and you take way too long to get back to them because you're busy. This is another thing that a VA like this would be an excellent option for. And also if you want to scale this entire thing without actually hiring people to do it for you. If you fall under at least two of these categories, then this AI assistant could be something that you would want to consider. But on the other hand, this isn't a smart move for everybody. So there are a couple of criteria that I want to make sure that you're aware of. In my opinion, I believe you should wait on a solution like this if you're actually getting less than 20 leads per month, because at that point you can probably handle all of that yourself and you don't necessarily have volume as a bottleneck at that point. Also, if you enjoy doing all the calls personally and you like connecting with people and you take pride in manual work, then you probably should continue doing it yourself if business happens to work well for you that way. Finally, if you're not ready to invest in business automation, then obviously a $3,500 plus investment in something like this probably isn't going to be for you. Now for anybody that falls under these categories right here, this doesn't mean that you can never use an AI system like this. It just means that it might not be the best move for you at this point in time. I just wanted to be fully transparent about what this process looks like and ultimately guide you to help make the right decision if you're considering something like this. All right, so now that we've covered our demo and we've actually talked about why this stuff matters in the first place and determining whether or not you yourself are actually in a good position to start exploring solutions like this. Let me actually get into a little bit more of the technical aspects of how this all works just to kind of break this down for you for anybody who's curious about how this whole automation system works on the back end. So obviously we have a lot going on here between all three of these workflows plus our AI voice agent here in retail. So I'll try to, so I'll try to give you a very high level overview of how I've set all of this stuff up. So obviously our entire system here is running off of Aria, which is our ultimate AI virtual assistant. Now this is essentially the brains behind the entire operation. And if I actually open this up, I can give you a little look at the system prompt that I've set up for this. Now this is actually a pretty simple system prompt. I don't have too much going on here. I've just got a simple role and a task behind this agent, but obviously if you wanted to go in and add much more information to this prompt, you could absolutely do that. But essentially what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm just telling the agent who it is, giving it some context about what it's working with and what its main priorities are. And then under this task category, I'm breaking down each task step by step so that it understands when to delegate each request to a specific sub agent. I try to keep my prompts as simple as possible just to make sure that we're not overdoing any of the instructions here or waiting the system down too much. Now, because the AI voice caller is probably the one that you guys are most interested in, let's actually take a look at that one first. And for this setup, I'm calling another workflow within N8N. And this one is relatively simple. I could take you through it step by step here just to kind of walk you through what's going on here. But every time Aria calls this workflow, we're going to be adding a new row in a specific Google Sheet to actually keep track of the people that we're calling. I'm using a program called Google Contacts to actually pull that person's information out. This is essentially where we're going to get their phone number. Now, once we have all of that information, including everything that we got from Aria on the call purpose and the person's name, we're going to be passing all of it into Retail AI to actually issue that call for us. Now, I'm going to take you into our voice agent prompt in a minute here. But just to finish this workflow out, once we've actually made the call, we're going to do another HTTP request to retail to get that call info. And that'll allow you to essentially get the call information. And then from there, we can determine whether or not that was a successful call or not. Now, I'm actually using another AI step here to, to pull the conversation transcript from that get call node. And from there, we're going to be processing it to see whether that person was qualified or not. Now, I have a little prompt here just set up. And this is, again, this is a pretty simple setup, so there's not too much going on here. So whether or not they are, we will receive a Slack message either way. But if the person is qualified, we'll actually want to notify ourselves to make sure we can respond to that person and that we were able to successfully get them booked in our calendar. If not, we'll also want to just notify ourselves so that we get feedback from the agent on the fact that that call just happened to not be qualified. So with all that said, let's take a second to jump into our retail AI prompt. And, and this is one of the more interesting aspects 
of the video for those of you who are interested in voice agents. So I just wanted to really quickly take you through this. And because this is a very simple voice agent that's just designed to qualify people based off of a simple flow and book appointments for us, there isn't going to be all that much going on here. So essentially, we're just talking about setting up a role for the agent to let it know who it is, giving it context on what it's actually working with. And within there, we're passing through variables from N8N, which include the person's name, their phone number, and the actual call purpose so that we can retain the context of what we're doing. Next up, we actually have the task and the workflow structure to tell the agent exactly what the conversation flow is going to look like, what questions to ask, what to do if the person is qualified versus if they aren't. And if you remember back to the demo, that phone call itself was pretty simple. It wasn't all that advanced, so I didn't need a huge prompt here to really set this up and, and handle a super advanced level of logic here. But anyways, now that we've actually covered our AI voice caller, let's take a look at our calendar and showing agent. And this is actually a sub agent that Aria is going to have access to control. And if we take a look at the system prompt, again, this is a very simple setup that I've got here because in reality, the tasks that it's completing are pretty straightforward here. I've just instructed it on how and when to use each of these tools. And from here, every time the agent actually follows this process, it'll be able to communicate everything that it finds to Aria, which will in turn relay the message back to us as the user. And this calendar agent actually has two tools set up with it. Number one is actually a booking tool. And number two is actually a tool to help us check openings in our calendar. And while both of these are Google Calendar tools, you could obviously set up whatever calendar you use here, and the system would work essentially the same way. But generally, I instruct the system to use the check openings tool before the actual booking tool just to make sure that we complete tasks in order and don't end up double booking anything. And we always understand the context of what we're working with here. Now, let's also take a quick look at the long-term nurture agent. And once again, I've tried to keep the prompt pretty simple here because this agent does have access to that external email workflow that I showed you a moment ago. That's where most of the intelligence and logic is happening behind this. Once again, I just instructed this agent on when and how to use each of these tools, and I kept the instructions pretty simple here. In case it needs to do so, I also added a find contact tool for this agent in case it needs to actually get a phone number or get an email for a specific person. I'm also letting it update our nurture sheet in Google just to make sure we're staying organized. And finally, once all that's set, we're going to be connecting to our long-term email nurture sequence. And again, if you guys are actually interested in seeing the full video on how this whole system works, then you can go and check that out on my channel. But this system is essentially set up for a three-day nurture sequence. And because I already had this full workflow built, I decided to just integrate it into my AI virtual assistant. But if you wanted, you could come in here and adjust every single one of these messages to actually send over a period of months as opposed to a period of days. But essentially, this will allow us to write personalized emails to people and actually space them out over a period of time to actually keep them warm, to offer them updates, or to just drip them information or little tips just to make sure that we're always in contact with this person. And of course, we could get way deeper into the way that this agent works and how each of these workflows connect to each other. But I hope you guys are able to get a good idea of what we we're talking about here and how exactly this ultimate AI virtual assistant really works for us. When we're talking about AI systems and AI agents in real estate, then this is really one of the ones that I feel can have a high impact within a very short period of time. If you're somebody who has a lot of tasks to manage, you're drained on time. Also curious about getting AI to handle a few tasks that would otherwise have taken humans to handle for you. Now, if you watched all the way to the end of the video, I appreciate you guys for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this one. And before you go, I just wanted to mention one more time that I am launching a brand new AI real estate in Insiders community. It's going to be full of exclusive courses on AI. It's going to be packed with copy and paste AI agents. And it's going to have a community of like-minded people who also want to adopt AI for their business and to share successes of what they've actually been able to implement for themselves. Now, this community is focused for people in real estate and who own businesses, but anybody is welcome to it. And if you join now, you'll get free lifetime access before I actually upgrade it to a paid community. So hit my first link in description if you want to check that out. Otherwise, you can hit link number two if you actually want to work one-on-one -on -one with me to iron out your AI strategy or actually explore a few ways that AI can actually help you in your business right now. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And with all that said, I will catch you all in the next one.